Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be continuing with our SM Vector Lens Drive. Where we're going to be doing a 2-wire control, 3-wire control today with the uh, uh, external potentiometer. If by any chance you missed the last video of a commission drive run, local run, do check that video in the description below. And any other related videos and manuals and everything else that I believe will benefit you in a possible way is going to be in the description below. So, do check it out and... Let's get started. So the first control station we're going to be today is our, going to be our two-wire control station with run forward, run reverse, jog, and also we'll have a potentiometer. So, uh, and when it comes down to potentiometer, potentiometer must be from uh, between, ooh, let's zoom in between a uh, 2 and a 10 kilo ohm as you can see three uh, terminals coming out and it's going into terminals 2, uh, 5 and a 6 so before I run through the wiring and start explaining you a little bit more about parameters and how they really work for this drive I'm going to run you through for the uh, with wire, wiring first and then we're going to start looking at the parameters so uh, terminal one is coming out uh, here to our uh, e-stop in here. From there on, uh, uh, this is terminal one. This is basically source to run all our IOs. So from there on, if you see down here that the terminal four, it's kind of like an enable signal. So more or less, it does require to be on at all times. Unless, uh, well, one thing I didn't look at the manual, can it be turned off? But the ma mainly, I am going to keep it on. And by default, if you activate the number four and one, it will uh, run forwards. But we have made changes for this to work differently. So as you can see now, and I can explain that in a minute with the parameters and why. So uh, as you can see, my number two, this cable in here is coming through my normally closed contact, going back to four, and nothing's happening because I reconfigured the IOs. So from there on, I have a uh, run forwards, run reverse, and a jog. And they are respectively going for the uh, uh, 13A, 13B, and 13C, uh, or all three being in there. So, uh, by default, the 13A, B, and C are uh, on zero, so nothing is assigned to it. So, you should more or less have to tell the drive what you want it to be assigned to it. So, that's exactly what we're going to be doing now. So, uh, and that is in a parameter, a parameter 121, 122, 123. Is more uh, is uh, uh, respectively for the uh, for for programming those three IOs, and if you look at this in the diagrams, more or less showing you in here, switch so back over down, is in showing you in here that it says that the uh, uh, run signal and a four but it has to be on, and then you more or less can uh, program up your thirteens, uh, call it A, B, and C. So by default. Yeah, if you uh, activate a 1 and a 4 together, which I show in red, it will run forwards and then you can control a potentiometer if you have a connected potentiometer and so on. So we're not going to be doing that, so we have quite a lot of options for it. So quickly jump on the page to show you the actual options, how we're going to be... Uh, where, are we? where are we? Here we are. One well, thing is, you can see in here, we have a whole load of options in here, how we want things to run. So what I did in here, I have assigned 14, 15, and not 14, it's 13, 14, and a 15, uh, respectively, to A, B, and C down here, to uh, uh, run forwards, run reverse, and jog forwards. And as soon as you put a run forwards in uh, any, of the, any of the run signal for any of the 13s, uh, 13A, B, and C, E automatically removes the run signal from a 4. So, but that 4 is still required as enable. So, uh, that's pretty much how that works. So, as you can see in here, so uh, we have set the run forward, so there will be on our terminal 13. Ooh. Uh, run reverse and then uh, 13B. And jog, which is going to be, I already remember, I remember the numbers, it's going to be our 13C. So that way, so you can see this cable in here that comes from the normally closed so contact, they're always staying on. So I, I'm sort of a sort of a keeping my drive always enabled if you want to work that way. So this is my way of setting up two wire control. So let me put on the cover and show you how that works.
Here we are, the cover is on. And before we get started, a quick to set up your a uh, uh, jog uh, frequency is in 134 for the forwards and 135 for a uh, reverse. And obviously, don't forget to change your sources. So uh, for uh, terminals, it will be uh, 100 is going to be uh, one, and for your uh, frequency, is a one as well. So those are both the both of the external sources uh, required where it's going to be reading the run signals and potentiometer from so so yeah so i said that so uh, here we go so run forwards as remember we have a pre-programmed pre to run forwards as normal and enable remember is always on the number four so and there we go does it lock out yes it does and it goes in reverse and obviously as you can see we have a jog on this button in here and that ladies and gentlemen how the two wire control is done in this drive so next up let's have a look how the three wire control works and as for the three wire control this is what we're gonna have station wise we're gonna have a uh, stop uh, run forwards run reverse and obviously uh, we roll up potentiometer and when it comes down to parameters there's actually not that much to be changed I'm gonna show that in a minute but before we go we are going to have a look at the wiring and again terminal ones come into my uh, e-stop goes through e-stop ignore this three cable that goes nowhere that just sits in a sits for the external sometimes i need it for different stations from there on it carries on to the next uh, normally closed contact and that will be our stop button in here from there on that one's going to go back to terminal four which effectively will become our stop signal so from there on it carries on to a another two normally uh, open contacts and from there on first normally on the open contact will be a run forward and the second one will start forwards and the second one is going to be start reverse so we're not going to be uh, using a uh, jog for this one but if you wish to have it you still have one more uh, digital uh, input left which is at 13 C in here so be feel free to add if you wish to have it and when it comes down to uh, controls itself only thing you need to do from the previous what we did already for two wire control uh, all you need to do is uh, pretty much instead of a run you just say start and once they say it's start it will latch in every time that signal is re received so that's pretty much that's all there is so let's put on the cover and have a look how that works and before we get to demonstration, one small tip. So before you start wiring these stations in, in here, uh, I would suggest to change the parameters uh, to uh, first, because uh, remember what I said, by default, the, the, these digital inputs in here are at zero, doing nothing. So uh, when you connect the one and a four together, it will start running your motor. So do be, be aware of that. And on that, when you change the, when you change to a start forward and start, uh, and, uh, start reverse, uh, if one of the one of the let's say this signal was going to be on a, on a run uh, reverse it will throw small error but don't ignore that just uh, just uh, click that again and then go into the next one and change that to uh, basically start forward and start reverse and it will remove the fail so that's pretty much uh, such to give you gives you a heads up in case you do need it and there we go so uh, there's a station so there we go we are press start as you can see now it is uh, uh, latching in. You can click uh, in reverse, and it will start going in reverse. It's pretty good if you're trying to do something one reverse. And obviously, that stop signal is going to stop it. Stop the whole thing. Of course, there's a lot more, but that is basic three wire control. Remember, you still have one more digital input left to use it. We haven't even touched any relay outputs or digital output or anything like that. So do uh, check them out yourself. Hopefully, this is giving you a good understanding how to pretty much more or less to work with it. That's very, very easy, very, really well uh, done. So it's very easy to work with. So uh, hopefully you find that as well, the same way I do. On that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. So it is help you out and you are, when you're well and you're right, achieving your uh, goal with this specific drive. Remember, there's there are three different models uh, when it comes down to, to different types, when it comes down to IP ratings. So yeah, so uh, don't forget to like the video if you don't do subscribe if you uh, like what we're doing here and uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.